Namaste, myself, Dr. S.P. Nusar. Vitamin D deficiency, many are facing right now, especially for kids, those who are uh, in the spectrum of autism spectrum disorders. When we see the blood test, we see that uh, everybody is below normal range and uh, that is a very much concern about the parent also. So, uh, in our treatment point, we are mainly dealing about what may be the basic cause behind that whether it is a deficiency in the food habits or even if we are administering it is not uh, properly absorbed or the, is there any metabolic error so first thing to rectify the uh, vitamin d deficiency or any deficiencies is that first thing we should know whether we are giving the proper vitamin d food supplements Second thing, even if giving after uh, proper vitamin D, food supplements and other things, no, I am not talking about uh, as a medicine. There are many other uh, things that we can do as a medicine. It's not about medicines. As From the food itself, it should be absorbed. That is a proper way. If it is not properly absorbed, in India, we have not seen any kid with uh, scarcity of food. Only thing, overfeeding will be there. So if overfeeding is there, there will be error in the metabolic activity. So that has to be corrected first. Second thing, as you know, there is much vitamin D. It has to be corrected from the sunlight itself. How we can. As in our hospital, we are doing like we will give an half an hour of exercise in the morning before 7, 7 o'clock or 7.30. Then after getting the body, it should be a little bit warm enough. Then we will give 15 minutes of sun bath. So it will be better to take sunlight or sun bath before 8 o'clock or evening after 5 o'clock. And it should be given after little bit of exercise. Here we are doing barefoot walking, especially for kids. So half an hour of barefoot walking followed by 15 minutes of sun bath, morning as well as in the evening. So any one time also it can be administered. That is the best way to correct the vitamin D deficiency. Other things are through the food habits. The very first thing that everybody will be knowing because if you google it you will come to know mushrooms will be having that too. It should not be artificially made. Naturally made uh, mushrooms uh, it should be cultivated under sunlight and some varieties of fishes are having vitamin D. Uh, egg yolk is having proper vitamin D and uh, if you give any supplements like uh, orange juice or vitamin C that should be there for the proper absorption. What I recommend is the vitamin C which is having in guava fruit because as such in autism cases we are not supposed to give any sour items. So all vitamin C which is available in the market as well as in the fruits will be having sour taste. So uh, there is only one fruit that is not having sour taste but having proper vitamin C is guava fruit and that is much having antioxidant property also. So that also can be given. Whatever the food that you are giving, make sure that it is properly digesting. Otherwise that will not help you. Even if you supplement vitamin D capsules also, make sure that it is properly digesting. So the basic concept behind to treat the deficiencies, especially vitamin D, is to correct the metabolic activity. Second thing is from the sunlight. So it's depend upon each individual and each kid it will be different. And better we can avoid vitamin D sup uh, supplement from outside. Why? Because if we supplement from outside, the mechanism of the body to make itself will be reducing because we are helping from outside so maybe two months it will be corrected again after two or three months if you again check it will be impaired again so that is not the proper way we should make our body to do or body to correct the things that will be stable for a long time namaste